It's like, God damn, that's pretty fucking cool. It's gonna be pretty good. This is a very important time for our studio. If we can come out and make God of War 2 better than the first one, we'll be recognized the industry over as a powerhouse. It's all about doing what we can to achieve perfection. And I think we know we'll never hit it 100%, but the mantra that's never talked about, but the general force of the leadership here within the studio is, let's always strive for it. I'm out to make the best game possible. The amount of time and effort and energy and life that I've put into these things, I don't get it back, so you might as well do it right. It's really for the fans of this game, and the more people that play it, the better that we feel, that we've really reached out to a lot of people, taking these people on an adventure, told them a story. So is that good? That's good. And we got it all? We got it all. Fan-fucking-tastic. I mean, it's, it seems to be taking a bit more of an important role lately. Like a lot of people. <laughs> What's going on here? So I'm Stig, art director on God of War 2, and uh, we're going to take a look at some of the lost levels of the game. During the pre-production stages of God of War 2, there was a lot of time spent developing uh, different art concepts, not only on paper, but in 3D. We had a lot of uh, new environment artists start on this project. Almost more than half of the environment team is, was fresh from other companies. And, one of the things that we like to start them with is kind of building these test levels that gave them a chance to learn all the different techniques that we had created on God of War 1. But at the same time, it was good for the whole team because these guys came, you know, they were kind of the rock stars of the companies that they worked at before, and they came here with all sorts of different techniques and methods which they shared with the rest of the team. That's a big reason why you've seen such a big jump in the graphics between God of War and God of War II is because we got all these fresh ideas. The Lost Levels, um, they're not only uh, a good proving, proving ground for the, the artist to prove himself that he understands the tool and the technology, but it's also a pr good proving ground for the technology in general. Designing something like, like a Pegasus level is, is, is something that's very challenging for an artist. Uh, because we've never done anything like it before. Everything from just the way that we build the geometry at a, at, at a different level of detail, 
because it's farther away from the camera to little things like the effects. This is kind of the canyon run stuff that we didn't get as much of it or any of it as, as, as we wanted to get. Atlantis was going to be an entire world in the game, and we uh, lost that one too, unfortunately. Maybe it'll come back some other day. This is almost a complete level, pretty much. I mean, we had, we had uh, a lot of uh, everything from the visuals down to all the, the, the scripting of the events and explosions, uh, AI placement. It's very sad that it had to get cut. I remember when I heard about it, I was in denial for a few days. But we made our way through it, and I think and we were all very happy with the other levels, so. It's nice that you got to make it onto the lost levels.